Helping hand onto the Mewtwo. Shadow Ball into this dumb little horse. And let's get rid of this Shadow Rider Calyrex. Because we hate it here. Come on, Mewtwo. Four times super effective here. Helping hand boost. The most satisfying KO you'll ever see today. Get on out of here, Shadow Rider Calyrex. Beautiful. What's going on, guys? Cisco here. Back with some more VGC Double Battles. And today, we're continuing our grind through Regulation G. And this time, with a really dope Mewtwo and Polyrath team. So today, we're combining Terrain Control and Weather Control into one team. Let's start off with Terrain. We've got an Expanding Force Mewtwo alongside Psychic Surge and Didi. And this is just broken. You lead Mewtwo and Didi. Mewtwo can just outspeed almost everyone and just click Expanding Force, which will be Stab, Boosted by Terrain, and Boosted 20% more by the Twisted Spoon. Broken, I know. It's also got Aura Sphere, Aura Sphere and Shadow Ball for some coverage to Dark and Ghost types, and Protect to keep it safe. Next up, we've got the Rain Duel of Belly Drum, Swift Swim Polyrath, and Drizzle Pelipper. And these two are just also a dope pairing. Lead off these two, get your Rain up, click Belly Drum with Polyrath, get to a plus 6 in attack, and start outspeeding everything with Under the Rain with Swift Swim. Now, there's a couple key elements as to why I made my choices. It's not just throwing these two duos together. These duos can actually work really well together. So, Pelipper has Wide Guard, and in my opinion, for Regulation G, I think Wide Guard is a must. Especially for all those Shadow Rider Calyrexes, Kyogres, Groudons, it's just a must. Also, with the Ndidi, with Follow Me, it will allow Polyrath to freely go for a Belladrum, get to plus 6 without having to take any type of damage. So, you could actually lead Ndidi and Polyrath, for example, get Belladrum off, let Ndidi go down, come in with Mewtwo under Psychic Terrain, and you'll just have an Expanding Force monster and a Liquidation monster. So, these two duos work really well together, and then once, for example, you lead Mewtwo and Ndidi, Ndidi goes down, you can just come in with Pelipper and start wide guarding just in case they have, you know, any spread hitting moves. Now, in the back, we have some other components that, re that work really well with this team. First off, we got Meowskarada, and... Her typing just works really well as fire types, fire type moves are resisted under the rain and no priority moves can come out to stop Masquerado from going for flower tricks. Next up, we got Glide Score and its purpose is, well, it has a really good defensive stat already, so we gave it the Psychic Seed to boost its special defense in Psychic Terrain. We also gave it Acrobatics, since we will not be having an item anymore, making Acrobatics a stab 110 damage move, which is pretty nuts. Also, we gave Glide Score Toxic Spikes, since nowadays it's all about weather battles. It's sun, rain, or snow, It's or, or sand, it's one of those four. So we have Toxic Spikes on it to set Toxic Spikes on the opposing side to prevent the opponent from switching so much, maybe hopefully giving us weather control for the whole game. So yeah, tell me not it's a dope team, really good synergy all around, really strong Pokemon, and yeah, I'm super excited to try this team out. But guys, if you find yourself enjoying this video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or if you're a returning viewer and I joined the content so far, come on, just hit that sub button. It really helps me out and I'd really appreciate it. But now, let's get rolling with this Mewtwo and Polyrath team and try to get some dubs. Alright, we got a battle against 1836 and what did I say? Weather battle. You got Snow Warning Alola Ninetales. So, whenever I see a Pokemon that has weather control, I think I definitely bring in Gliscor that game. Just to set up our Toxic Spikes and make life more annoying for them. They do have the Arc on who can get rid of my spikes. But for the most part, I think Toxic Spikes looks pretty good here. They also have a Wide Guard user. So it's a little tough. It's a little tough. The nice thing about Mewtwo is... I would have given a Side Strike just to be able to go for Side Strikes without Ndidi. But... I feel like uh, Aura Sphere and Shadow Ball are just really good coverage moves. And you want to have Protect on Mewtwo. I'm thinking this is a game for Pelipper and Polyrath. What are we thinking? Well, if we give them the rain, they're going to bring our child on. Maybe it's not a game for... Polyrath, Pelipper. Do we give them weather control? No, nah, no, nah, we don't give him we don't give him weather control. We're gonna go Pelipper, we're gonna go Gliscor. We're gonna leave Polyrath in the back. Even though Polyrath looks really good here, we're gonna leave it in the back. Because they do have a water absorb Clawsire, and then they have um the Araquanid with Water Bubble, I believe this ability called. So we'll just leave him behind. We'll get this we'll get things started with these four. 
And it is going to be the nine tails. Okay, so perfect. We have indeed a Mewtwo. Oh, it looks so beautiful. <laughs> Unnerve is going to come out here. I like Unnerve better than Pressure because just in case, like, for example, Incineroar's with Citrus Berry, they just can't eat a Citrus Berry in front of my Mewtwo. So it's actually really nice. Now, there's no expanding force user. We just click a swap into Pelipper and we go for expanding force. Yeah, that's it. Gonna get rid of their snow. Gonna put up my rain for no reason. Just to have that weather control, avoid them getting a roar bell up. And yeah, that's it. Screw your snow. Pelipper's out here. We go for expanding force. It double connects and it double deletes. <laughs> it's as easy as that. <laughs> it's just as simple as that. That is disgusting. No helping hand, no nothing. Just a pure expanding force from Mewtwo. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's Araquanid? Yeah. Araquanid and who else? The bear. Um, this thing probably has wide guard, so I'm just gonna hurricane this guy. I'll just double into Araquanid here, I think. I could just protect. Let me just protect. They're probably gonna go after Mewtwo. Mewtwo looks so sick. Do you wide guard up? They protect him. Alright, beautiful. So this Arachnid is probably going for... Oh, it's just going for an Endure. That's a little odd. Well, Hurricane's gonna come out here. How much are we doing? Okay, good chunk. Flame Morb is gonna activate here. Uh, now I feel like he clicks... Now I think he clicks, um... Wide Garden Facade. So I could just go into Aurosphere and Weather Ball into... Oh, he might Terrasilize here. Mm. Let me just go Hurricane into the Araquanid, and then... Let's just rip an Aurosphere into this guy, I think. He Terrasilize his bear. I don't know into what, though. Do I sack? I think I sack, yeah. I, I'm gonna sack my Ndidi. Oh, battles cancel. Never mind. GG's. <laughs> that is disgusting. All right, we got a battle against Gordon. And they've got a Ditto to transform in my Mewtwo. That's what they want to do. Um, they also got the Maridon and a couple Quark Drive Pokemon. They also have the Trick Room option. Hmm. So... The Iron Juggler is actually a pretty hard issue here for us. I'm not sure if I lead off Ndidi or not. You know what? I'm going to go into Mewtwo and Gliscor, I think. I'll bring Ndidi in the back. Do I like my Mewtwo? Or do I like Meowskavada more here? Meowskavada kind of struggles against this squad. The Juggler's Hands and Maridon all resist Meowskarada. Maybe just Polyrath? Because Polyrath does outspeed most of these mods. Even without Swift Swim. Where do I go Meowskarada? Hmm. I am max speed. It's still not high though. Still not high enough. I'm going to throw Masquerade into the mix, I think. Yeah, let's go Masquerade. Even though three of the mods resist it, I mean, it still has knockoff, it still has play rough, it still has U-turn, so it has better coverage moves than Polyrath does. Sleeping Inferno. All right, Gordon, let's go. You probably lead Iron Jugulus and Maridon, maybe? They call that thing Mew. <laughs> That's hilarious. So they definitely have Maridon in the back. He's going to transform into Glasgow. Perfect. Okay. Lovely. I'm just going to protect my Mewtwo. And I'm going to set up Talking Spikes. 
Because he probably want to go for a Snarl. And then want to copy one of my moves. Maybe Earthquake. So good thing we went with Mewtwo in the first slot and not the second slot. Or else he would have had an Iron Jugulus and a Mewtwo sitting in front of me. That's pretty scary. Alright, but what you gonna go for? Probably Snarl and then... Yeah, like I said, probably an uh, Earthquake. Now it's a matter of who wants to swap in their terrain Pokemon first. Alright, there's an Acrobatics. It's not gonna do much because they haven't used up their item, I believe. And they go for Tailwind. Okay. That's a little annoying. We're still gonna get our spikes up, that's fine. And in this case, I think I might just terrestrialize expanding force. Oh, but it doesn't really affect him. Hmm. I mean, I, I, I don't mind the terrestrialize expanding force, even though it doesn't really affect Jugulus. You know what? No, let me go. Let's go in DD. And let's just stay in with the light score and go for acrobatics onto the jugglers. Let's try to get rid of the jugglers. That's the main threat to my Mewtwo right now. If we can get rid of that jugglers, we're sitting in a really good spot. See, it's either terrain battle or weather battle. That's all regulation G is going to be. Psychic C is going to pop up here. Going to give us a special defense boost. So now my Gliscor's looking pretty tanky. Jugglers protects, man. And Acrobax is gonna come onto my DD. That's a crit. I could go for Trickum, but there's no point in going for Trickum here. Because Tailwind is about to expire, I think. Two more turns? Yeah, two more turns. So I'm just gonna go Dazzling Gleam. And. I'll go for another Toxic Spikes. They're really not pressuring my Glass Core. They're letting it do whatever it wants, so... Now, if they double... Indeedee shouldn't die out here. If they double Indeedee this turn, I have to swap it out. Because I don't want to give them terrain control the whole game. They're going to withdraw the Jugulus into Maridon, right? Into Ursa Luna. Nothing's gonna get poisoned. Why? Ursa Luna. I can probably come out to my glass guard. Just 40 damage, just nothing. We get another layer of toxic spikes now, so good luck swapping out, buddy. <laughs> and we should go for Dazzlingly. Chip up a little bit. And the Ursa Luna can't get flame orbed anymore. But facade still works, but eh, it doesn't really matter then. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't really make sense. I'm just gonna go for... Mm, I don't wanna go for follow me, you know? Does he have... Who is the squad? He might not have him right under the back. He would've swapped it in already. So I might just go for a helping hand. Plus acrobatics. He's gonna withdraw the the ditto and back into the jugulus. We should outspeed here, right? Yeah, we still outspeed. Glacier comes out with the acrobatics. Doesn't pick up the KO, but does a ton of damage. And then facade into my Indeedee. Okay, that's fine. It's gonna die to Rocky Helmet damage. Perfect. So now they might get terrain control. Ursula's gonna die out. Beautiful. And the next Pokemon that comes in is gonna get poisoned by two layers of toxic spikes. Their tailwind is up, so they're gonna go tailwind and. I could go for a play rough here. I could go into Miascarado, you know? Yeah, let's go Miascarado. Because he might even come back with um, the 
the ditto. Yeah, it is a ditto. So they're going to transform into my Masquerade instead. Which is actually perfect. Going to get poisoned as well. So I don't think they have um, the Maridon. Which I'm confused as to why I didn't bring it. Wait, I don't ask questions. We're just going to go for Play Rough here onto the Iron Jugulus. And we're going to go for Acrobatics onto the Ditto now. Because it is now going to be a Grass type. They outspeed me. Oh yeah, they still have Trickle. Uh, Tailwind. That KOs, right? No, Gliscor survives. Lovely. Flare Ruff is going to come out here onto the Jugulus. We connect. We do a ton of damage. And they go for Air Slash onto my Miascarada. Guess what? I'm Fairy type now. Doesn't hurt me. And my Acrobatics gets rid of their Ditto. Beautiful. So who's your last Mon? Is it Hands or Frigraph? You had him ride on the whole time? <laughs> what? Hey. I don't... I don't ask questions. So they are going to get terrain control, unfortunately. This thing's quark drive is going to activate into what? Speed. Eesh. Do you have tailwind up? No, they don't. Listen, I'm just going to go for player off again on to... I do want to give her the Jugulus. But I think I can. They outspeed me. Let's try it. Let me just protect with my glass score. Of course, Jugglish protects. We're going for Power Ball at charge. Playoff is going to get blocked. We outspeed the Maridon, actually, so. And Dragon Pulse into my Glide Score. All right, how much is this poison doing? Okay. It's going to worsen over time, so we got to stall him out a little bit more. I don't also be the jugglers, unfortunately. No, I don't also be the jugglers. I'm gonna go for this, but I think they both outspeed me. Nyaskarada does outspeed! Nyaskarada, you're insane. Oh, you're Choice Scarf, I forgot. I forgot I gave my own guy Choice Scarf. So that's it, GG's, it's done. We didn't even use Mewtwo that much. Mewtwo just provided that threat from being there. Meowskarada and Gliscor just clutching up this game for us. But we still got Mewtwo here. We're gonna click Expanding Force and Play Rough, and that should be GG's. No Terra even. Let's go for Play Rough. And let's just waste our time and Terrasize into Fairy. Why not? <laughs> They're going to try this as well, actually, so. But we both outspeed. Uh, I think. Yeah, we both outspeed. You two is faster than Maridon, I believe. And they're going to go straight into Electric. And now this is where they might click Parabolic Charge, and it could be kind of dangerous. But... We'll see. We're going to try this as our Mewtwo into Fairy. Just in case they do have those Dragon Pulses. We, they are sitting in front of two fairy types, so there's really not much they can do. Play Rough comes out here, does a ton of damage onto the right on. Gets an attack drop, that doesn't matter though. They're stuck onto Dragon Pulse. <laughs> it's done. It's done. Expanding Force is going to give her the right on, and that is a GG's. Complete domination. This is why Toxic Spikes is so good. Toxic Spikes, Wide Guard, those are two moves that I might just be have to carry every single time. GG's. All right, we've got a Rain team. So this is actually perfect. I'm going to go Ndidi and Mewtwo. Bring, I mean, Ndidi Polyrath. Bring Mewtwo in the back. I don't need Pelipper here. The 
The train is going to be massive. That avoids all priority moves. So no fake outs, no thunderclaps, no bullet punches. Oh, it's, this team is so good. Who do want in the final slot? I think it might be Gliscor. Acrobatics and Earthquake look really, really strong here. Yeah. So turn one, we just go follow me, Belly Drum. Maybe Ndidi dies out there and we can come in with Mewtwo and start ripping expanding forces. Oh wait, they do have terrain actually. Hold up, hold up. I forgot, I forgot about the Rillaboom. Forgot about the Rillaboom. Regardless, we'll lead these four. We'll lead these four. Um, If they lead Dark type and Rillaboom, I might just terrasize my Ndidi into Fairy just to avoid the knockoff damage. So Glass is important here because I'm going to set up some Toxic Spikes when I can. And I actually might want to do that soon. So I could actually probably swap out my Ndidi into Gliscor, set up Toxic Spikes, let it let the Gliscor die out, come back in with uh, Mewtwo and start going for, for Expanding Forces. It's going to be these two. Okay. Fair enough. That provides literally no pressure whatsoever. So I'm just going to go for follow me and belly drum. Easy. Follow me, belly drum. Wait, did I set this thing up? Oh, I didn't. Guys, I screwed up. But I'm not switching anymore. I'm sorry. I hate that because when I'm when I do the team and I like level it up to like level 70 or whatever, it shows me an even number of HP. So that means belly drum works and proxy citrus berry I have. But then when you put it down to level 50, it always screws me over. So that's a little annoying. So I might I might optimize it, switch it for you guys, but I don't know, we'll see. They're gonna withdraw the polytoad. Perfectly fine. Into Rillaboom. There's the Rillaboom. And we should have clicked follow me. Oh, that's so annoying. You really need that Citrus Berry health with um Polyrath. It's not tanky at all. Look at that. See 83. Just away from Citrus Berry. And they're gonna go for Thunder. That shouldn't pick up the KO, right? Yeah, no. Nice. So we're gonna swap out now. Going to Glide Score here. And we're just gonna click protect on Polyrath. And now we're going to get up spikes and probably terrestrialize my Polyrath here into steel. I think terrestrializing Polyrath here is, is perfect. That's so annoying. That's the only change that needs to be done to this team. Give Polyrath uh, even HP to have Belly Drum proc the Citrus Berry. But we'll make it work. It, it's working out fine so far. It's not a big deal. We'll say it's planned. All right, Ndidi's going to swap out. We need Ndidi for that terrain control. Come into Gliscor. They might even go for another Thunderclap. I mean, a Thunderbolt. I'm just going to protect. So this is the safest turn ever. There's a fake out. Beautiful. Are you doubling my Polyrath? That's what you're doing? Yep. Doubled my Polyrath. So the Thunder on, on this guy is pretty scary. They might think I go for like some type of earthquake, but I'm just gonna go toxic spikes here. And then maybe drain punch. Drain punch into Rillaboom. We outspeed here. And even if they thunderclap, like. But they've only been clicking thunder, so. But they might click thunderclap now. Yeah, let's go Drain Punch. Let's Terra Drain Punch. That way, Thunderclap isn't super effective and hopefully doesn't pick up the KO. And they might just Grassy Light as well. So they might double priority here. We could have swapped, but I want my Toxic Spikes up. So they might even actually double my Gliscor slot, thinking we swap into Didi. But Toxic Spikes is going to be key here because it's going to 
help us have control of the terrain for a longer time. Because it's going to avoid them from swapping in and out so much. So we're going to try to our polyrath into steel. Love the little steel type. There's a grassy glide. We eat that up. We're going to proc our citrus berry. Beautiful. Give us a little bit more HP back. And then thunderclap. No, Drain Punch just comes out here. Just deletes the Rillaboom. Oh my goodness. Polyrath, you're disgusting with Belly Drum. And that's it. Terrain Control is mine. The Terrain Control is mine. We're going to get Toxic Spikes up. Come on, keep swapping out. If they have the Scissor, then that's, that's a little annoying. Thunder comes out here. Oh my goodness, bro. That's 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 some damage. Uh now I go in DD. I go in DD, get our terrain up. Avoid all priority moves. I think that might that thing might be choice into Thunders. Might be choice specs, because Thunder is doing a whole ton of damage. And it's fine. If rain goes out, it's fine. All they have is a polytoad in the back, which really can't do much. And if this thing is choice spec into Thunders, Gliscor wins this game. Because Gliscor just goes for EQs right now. We get rid of our own DD, come out with Mewtwo, and that's it. It's done. We outspeed, we destroy, it's over. What you got? Back into Politoed. Alright, terrain is mine. Terrain is mine, buddy. Three games, and this team has been perfect each game. Psychic Seed is going to pop out here. Going to give us that special defense boost. This guy might be a little scary, the Politoed. Because it is... Going to hurt my Gliscor. But I might just go for EQ. Helping Hand. Yeah, I like that idea. That's going to do a ton of damage. Even if Politoed gets rid of my Gliscor, which I doubt it does. We have a special defense boost. Me too can just sweep the end of this game with expanding force, I think. We outspeed, we destroy, no priority moves. Simple. Now, if they do have the incinerator in the back, that might be, be a pro that might be a problem. And they're just gonna terrasize. Gonna be the bolt, yep, gonna be the bolt. Into grass. We have acrobatics for that thing if we survive. If we survive, we have acrobatics for that thing. Helping Ed is gonna come out here. We outspeed everyone. EQ doesn't do enough damage. Does not do enough damage. And that thing has a citrus berry. Hmm. Thunder's not gonna do anything beautiful. All we need to do is survive this um weather ball or whatever muddy water. We should soak that, right? Damn. Glass girl soaks, but damn. All right, now it's, now it's done. Now it's GG's. We go Mewtwo. And Mewtwo should outspeed here. Right? Mewtwo outspeeds. You're 147 and 182. Yeah, okay, correct. Um, I go Acrobatics and Expanding Force. Yeah. That thing is choice into thunder, so it can't protect. But why'd you why why would you waste your terror on on Raging Bolt? It's pretty useless at this point. <laughs> we both have speed. We do we both do a ton of damage. <laughs> there's no I don't think there's any way back for them. They're just gonna protect. That's perfectly fine. Expanding force. Even if it's not enough, Glasker with, um... Acrobatics is enough. Oh, yeah. Just barely. Acrobatics finishes it off. Beautiful. Raging Bolt gone. Now it's just a Politoed plus whatever else is in the back. If it's Incineroar... I could just EQ Protect. I don't mind that. It's Kingdra. And their rain is gone. 
<laughs> their rain is gone. They can't do anything. They don't outspeed. That was their only win condition. If, if they could outspeed with this guy. But even then, I don't think this guy can take an expanding force. They wasted Terra already. It's going to be a GG's. Acrobatic expanding force is going to close this game out. And this team, I'm telling you, one of my best teams I've built. Gliscor is actually a really, really good Pokemon here. With Toxic Spikes, lovely. And it counters so many Pokemon. Like, like for example, the Rain Evil right now just counters it completely. And it can soak a couple shots. It can soak a couple shots. It soaked the Muddy Water under the Rain. Like, that's that's impressive. A single target of Muddy Water, actually, to be exact. So, Gliscor. Keep it, keep it on your records. You might want to use that Pokemon. Gonna land the low protect. That's fine. We doubled the Kingdra anyways. Expanding force. I don't even think this guy survives. Unless it's AV. If you survive, it's because you're AV. You barely survive. But Acrobatics is gonna get rid of the Kingdra. It's a poor Polytoad left. And that's gonna be a GG's. Holy cow. This team is nuts. I love this team. It was even better because they set up the weather for me. <laughs> Battle with Cantu. GG's. What a team, man. We got a battle against Clumsy Leo, and this is going to be a challenge. Well, number one, they're breaking the rules. <laughs> and they've got a damn Shadow Rider Calyrex. Ah, I hate that thing. Dude, I hate that Pokemon. I, I just hate it. Ice Rider Calyrex is fine. Like, it, it's, it's strong, but it needs Trick Room. Like, there's something you need to set it up with. This guy, all you need to do is click a button and that's it. It outspeeds everyone. It does a ton of damage. It's just not fair. Anyways, what do we go for here? I do want to lead the expanding force. I mean, um, okay, let me, let me think this through. Let me think this through. I need wide guard here with Pelipper. What if I just lead Mewtwo? And bring... What if I just bring these four in the back? I just bring these four. Like, my my, my main two duos. Because Miascarada, I mean... Gliscor, you know, with Earthquake, does do very well here. And Acrobat... It does, it does do really well. But no. We'll lock in those four. I think we need... Um, we need the Wide Guard with Pelipper. And then we need Terrain Control with... Um, Indeedy. Just so that we can go for expanding forces at the end. But at the same time, it's like... No, I think Indeedy was a mistake. Indeedy was a mistake, I think. I could have brought it in Gliascore instead of Indeedy. Provide more offensive pressure, but it's fine. Hit me and Lancer. Okay. Maybe these two. So... Really no need for... For Wide Guard right now. They're just going to fake out. Hey! Hunter! Alright, uh, sorry about that. My dog was barking. Um, I think we just throw a hurricane into this guy and then we're going to protect the Mewtwo. Yeah. I feel like he wants to go for a fake out. Quick claw. Are you kidding me? Are you going for Thunder Punch into Pelipper? Oh, they go for Belly Drum. Fair enough. And Dark Pulse into Mewtwo. Beautiful. So, really nice protect. We're going to get this Hurricane off and deal quite a bit of damage to Dark Rider, I believe. Ton of damage, ton of damage. Now, Dark Rider is Dark type, right? Yeah, okay. So, I think at that point, I just swap into Indeedy. Terrasize my Mewtwo. And rip an Expanding Force. Yeah. I think that's the best play. Because they're going to be going for that Dark Pulse into my Mewtwo slot. We'll resist it un under the Fairy Terra. And 
and we'll have to see how we get rid of uh, Dark Rye after. So Psychic Train is going to get set up here. They're going to... Oh, no. We're going to Terrasize first. But they probably Terrasize here. I doubt they sit with Iron Hands under Belly Drum as a regular fighting type. They have to Terrasize here. The Mewtwo is going to get the Fairy Terra. They don't Terrasize? So we just get rid of their Iron Hands like that. Just like that. Beautiful. Not sure what he was going for, but... Hey. And then Dark Pulse is going to rip into my Mewtwo. It's going to be resisted. Perfect. Beautiful. Huge Terra there. Huge Terra. Um, Shrek. Who's Shrek? Ogre Pond. Dazzling Gleam and Expanding Force. <laughs> That's all there is to do. Now, Dark Pulse could rip into my... Indeedy. And they're going to Terrasize the Ogre Pond to get that speed boost. And I think that does outspeed my Mewtwo now. Yeah, Ivy Culture's going to come out here. If we survive, we win. So we could have gone for Follow Me. We survive with Mewtwo. This thing is dumb. Expanding Force comes out here. Gonna get rid of Ogre Pond in one shot. Oh my goodness. And what are you going for? Are you doubling into... No, you go Dark Pulse into Ndidi. Ndidi survives. And do we flinch? No. Dazzling comes out here and that picks up the KO on Dark Rite. And... Beautiful. This team is just too good. This team is just broken. Who's Olivia? Who's your last mon? I don't... I don't appreciate Olivia. I, I really don't. Olivia outspeeds me. I'm gonna go set up Trick Room and I'm gonna protect. Because Olivia could still sweep here. Olivia can still sweep. There's the Astro Barrage. Not gonna affect my Ndidi. And we're going to get Trick Room up. Beautiful. Now it's GG's. They haven't... Oh, no. They did Terrasize already. Guess what? This is going to be the most satisfying thing in the world. Helping Hand. Expanding Force. Actually, no. Hold up. Wait. It's not very effective. Oh, because you're part Psychic type. Yes, 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 yes. Let me start that again. Helping Hand. Onto the Mewtwo. Shadow Ball. Into this dumb little horse. And let's get rid of the Shadow Rider Calyrex. Because we hate it here. Come on, Mewtwo. Four times super effective here. Helping head boost. The most satisfying KO you'll ever see today. Get on out of here, Shadow Rider Calyrex. Beautiful. And that's going to be GG's. Oh, my goodness. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our Mewtwo and Polygraph team is complete. Our Psychic Terrain and Rain Duo team... Whatever it is, complete. This team was really, really good. One of the best teams I've built. The synergy amongst these guys are really good. Glasgow with Toxic Spikes is so good. And I might have to incorporate a Toxic Spikes user in almost every of my teams, especially with the Wide Guard user as well. This team was just fantastic. Mewtwo and Polyrath after Belly Drum can do so much damage. Like, there's no words, there's no words needed. You guys must try this team out. It's amazing. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.